Hello folks, my name is Justin, owner of UB Studios Broadcasters, which owns Milo FM, which you see right there on the radio. Today we're going to show you a small presentation as to why HD radio sucks on your average analog radio seen here. This is a Grundig S350 model. Starting out on the FM band, we're going to switch quickly to the AM band and tune right now to Radio Disney which is here at 910 kilohertz in Salt Lake City. If you'll notice, Radio Disney doesn't have their IBOC on right now, their signal, their HD radio signal, if you want to get tech, uh, not technical. But if we tune up to 915 kilohertz on this particular radio and switch to wide, which I'm going to do right now, you'll notice how good the Radio Disney signal sounds. even on 910 and that's in the wide position here is going back to 910 the actual frequency of Rio Disney here in Salt Lake City and this is how it sounds now obviously Radio Disney is not the best sounding AM station here in the valley but it's just an example of how good an AM signal can sound without HD ruining it now we're gonna go up to quickly 1140 here which is the beginning of the hash heard from KSL's HD radio signal here. Now, if you go to wide on the radio, you can hear it even more. Now, this radio is not exactly in a good position in the house. It's able to pick up my computer and the cell phone charger. It's just right next to it. But still, this just justifies the hash produced by HD radio signal, even 20 kilohertz to the left of KSL. Now, if you go to normal, it kind of goes away, but still is present. You can still kind of hear it. Now, if we go up to H, if we go up to 1150, you can even hear it even more. And that's in the narrow position. If you were to go to wide, you hear that. That's 10 kilohertz away from KSL, which is right here on 1160. And you two can experience now, here in the narrow position, KSL doesn't sound that bad on this radio because this radio is designed for mostly narrow listening on AM. But if you go to, if you go to wide, like most radios, cheap radios in particular, this is what KSL sounds like. Notice how there's a uh, persistent hiss in the signal. Then reckless driving. There's only you. Speak up. And this is, again, an analog radio, granted. Now, if we're going to go up to 1170, which is 10 kilohertz above KSL, notice we still hear the hash. 1180 is a little better, but it's still not great. 20 kilohertz to the right of KSL. Again, if we were going to go wide, like most radios here in anywhere, this is what it would sound like. Going back to narrow here, you can notice going all the way up to 1190 that I can't pick up much beyond KSL's crappy uh, HD signal coming through. Going to wide again, like most radios here anywhere, you still hear the hiss from KSL. The hiss doesn't stop until about 1200 or 1210 when you can start to hear KJQS here in Salt Lake City at 12.30, which sounds pretty good on narrow. Now let's go back down to 820, which is another IBOC thing station here in the valley, which doesn't have their IBOC on right now, but is from Taylorsville, and the towers are out south of town. Sounds pretty bad, doesn't it? That's just because the towers are farther away and there's a lot of interference. Mm -hmm. But during the day, this station would have HD radio on and it'd be the same situation. You'd lose all the way up to about 850 to hash and all the way down to about 790 in hash as well from KUTR on 820. And that's a small presentation here from Milo FM as to why HD radio is killing AM radio. On FM it works.
Yes. But on AM, no, no, as you've just seen. Thank you for watching, and uh, keep listening to Milo FM.